my dad, the chiropractor and the grocer, he was he had gotten his chiropractic license in New York City. In the state of New York, chiropractic was illegal, so he wasn't able to practice there. And the family, meantime, had been out here, the Roman family. So he and his wife, my mom, moved out here, and he kept his license all those many, many years, for many years. But the uh, Roman brothers got him involved with the market business. So uh, he then became a grocer who also saw patients at the house. But the most amazing thing, in retrospect, it seemed perfectly normal to me at the time, was people would come to the store, oh, I have a headache, and my dad would say, I can fix it, because he could fix everything. And he would take them into the back room, the warehouse, and take down these huge boxes that were tissue, toilet tissue, or um, other paper goods. So they weren't too heavy, and he put one on his shoulder and then dump a couple of them, a line down on the floor, and place the poor headache victim, although about to be lucky ex-headache victim, down on the box and give them a chiropractic adjustment. And it was wonderful. I mean, it seemed perfectly normal to me, sure. Chiropractic adjustments in the back room of the grocery, which is sort of interesting because the original chiropractor was indeed a grocer who used to give adjustments in the back of his supermarket. 